Um, boo. Boo. Like, excuse me, boo. My, my, what have we here? A defenseless dweeboid mortal careless enough to disturb the domain of the bitchin' deceased? Boo! Oh, isn't that just too precious? You poor, innocent, helpless little dickweed. Just look at how you're shivering in your boots. Bag your face. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Stop rolling your eyes at me. Like, rude. I'm trying to haunt you here. Uh, what do you mean, not again? I'm bugging you. Excuse me. I'm not bugging you. I am haunting you. Thank you very much. Uh, sorry. What? I'll have you know that I am, in fact, very scary. Like, boo. So would you kindly stop being such an utter drip and, like, let me do my job? No offense, but, like, this is my job, you know? Wait, did I just say no offense? Oh, damn it, I mean, boo. You will rue the day that you decided to perambulate the homestead of the damned mortal. Here, can you feel the bone-chilling, grody touch of the grasping hands from beyond the grave running down your spine? Like, what do you mean it tickles? Ugh, fuck me gently with a chainsaw. Now you're just being mean. You're not a very nice person, you. Oh, wait. Okay. No, it's okay. It's all right. I can totally do this. <clears throat> Ooh, mortal. You are dealing with forces beyond, like, your feeble earthly comprehension and some junk? Um, like, uh... The, the malicious essence of my entity has risen from the superating flesh of my mortal husk. Um, oh. No pleading or begging shall aid you in averting your grim fate, poor mortal, so you can talk to the hand, okay? Um, boo. Oh, boo. Uh, I'm not scary, am I? Bogus. What? No, I'm not pouting. I'm not. Stop looking at me like that, Noid. Oh, for sure. Now all of a sudden I'm so very scary, right? You're just saying that to be nice. And a minute ago you were like, oh, not again. Stop bugging me already. Ugh. Like, I'm sorry if my haunting is interfering with your plans for the night. I mean, like, what were you even doing anyways? I've been watch. I mean... I have been totally haunting you for like three days now, and all you ever do every night is just stare at that weird looking typewriter. You're barely even typing anything. Like, does it even work? So you can just take a chill pill, okay? It's not like I even interrupted you at anything important. Oh, that weird looking typewriter is a laptop? <laughs> well, yeah, I can see you have it on your lap. I'm dead, not blind. There's a table over there, you know, so you don't need to... Oh. It's a computer? <laughs> Wait, that tiny little thing is really a computer? You know, my college had, like, one of those, and they were really proud of it, but it was a lot bigger than that. I mean, I didn't use it because, like, typing is for secretaries and nerds, and I was an English major, so... What do you mean that explains a lot? Well, yeah, I use the word perambulate, so what? A lot of people I knew used it, and I'm reasonably sure some of them are still alive. What? No, I'm not from the 19th century. Rude to the max. How long do you think I've been dead? What? Well, it's kind of funny that you should ask, because, like, well, to be perfectly honest, um... I'm not all that sure myself, actually. You know, it's kind of hard to keep track when you're all alone out here and dead. I mean, my swatch stopped working the second my heart stopped. I don't know why. But, uh, well, I died in, um, 1986. I remember because, like, Friday the 13th Part 6 had just come out. Jason lives, and I went to see it with my boyfriend at the time, and he totally threw up because he couldn't handle the gore. Um... Anyway, so 1986, what is it now? Like, 1992? Are we up to Friday the 13th, part eight? <laughs> uh, wait, what? 
Oh, oh yeah, right. Oh, I am so sure. Come on, I have not been dead that long. I have? You mean to tell me that I have been alone in this freaking shack in the woods for over 30 freaking years? Oh, barf! Oh, no, 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 come on. Calm down, girl. Everything is fine. Everything is totally fine. It's tubular. You simply didn't talk to anyone in 30 years. No need to freak out, right? Oh, see the positive. At least this means the commies didn't bomb us all into oblivion, right? Oh, turns out Daddy was wrong on that one. I'm sorry? Well, yeah, I was alone out here the whole time. Believe it or not, people don't want to rent a cabin in the woods when it's haunted. There were, like, two other people who used to come here before you, but I guess that was, like, the year right after my demise. It was ages ago. Well, yeah, I died here. I'm not vacationing. Well, not in here. I died, like, 20 steps that direction. You know how in, like, horror movies, when there's a mysterious noise outside the remote cabin in the woods, there's always one idiot who has to go out and check? <laughs> yeah, that was me. What? No, it wasn't a killer. Uh, it was a deer nibbling on a bush. No, I didn't get killed by a deer. I tripped in the dark on the way back, fell down, snapped my neck. So, like, if you want to go out to do I don't know what, I really suggest you take a flashlight unless you'd like to be trapped here for 30 years, too. Huh? What? I'm not exactly an expert, you know? Like, no, I don't think everybody turns into a ghost. You know, there's this beautiful, ethereal light, and you kind of get the near-irresistible urge to go into it and some junk, and, well, I pretty much only stayed behind because, well, I had stuff to do back here, okay? What? Oh, that is a private matter, okay? I don't think that you are entitled... Uh, no, I won't tell you. Hey! Uh, what is your damage? Now who's bugging who? Uh, did you just try to poke me? I am incorporeal. You cannot poke me. Thank you very much. Like boundaries, dude? Hey, I said you can't poke me. Stop poking me. You are freaking me out. Knock it off. Yeah, okay, all right, fine. I never got to tell my crush that I love them, okay? That is my unfinished business. It was kind of the whole reason why I agreed to come along on this trip in the first place, you know? Like, do I seem like the outdoorsy type? I'm not. I thought like, hey, remote cabin in the woods, nothing bad's ever happened in one of those before. Romantic summer nights by the fire, perfect chance to confess. And then on our first night, mysterious noise, being the pushover that I am, I got myself talked into going out to check trip over a branch or something, and then boom, 30 years of sitting in this dingy cabin like a grody old antique. What? Uh, no, I haven't been moaning over my lost love for 30 years. Like, I have an afterlife, you know. Besides, my crush visited again the next summer, and he was totally dating Cheryl, the bitch. And I mean, like, excuse me, that is just such bad form. <laughs> Coming back to the cabin where one of your classmates died and bringing another girl? Ew. What? Oh, yeah, I haunted them. I totally haunted them. I haunted them good. You should have seen me levitating in front of Cheryl with hellfire pouring from my eyes. Oh, it was radical. Not just radical. It was, like, so gross. Like, totally barf -rama, right? Well, ever since that night, nobody else has come to this cabin until you popped up. I thought maybe the urban legend would have faded in a couple of years, but I guess not. Sorry, what? Oh, if I'm that scary, why did I do such a poor job haunting you? Uh, excuse me, you can like totally bite me. Maybe I didn't get a chance to hone my haunting skills in 30 years or something, you know? Cut me some slack. You're the first person I've met in like three decades, apparently. I mean, why are you out here all alone, anyway? Oh, you meant to come here with a bunch of friends? Well, what happened? What's a COVID? Oh, and you already rented the cabin and didn't want to go to waste. Hmm, 
So now you just go swimming by yourself and spend your nights staring at your typewriter. Oh, I'm sorry, your computer, you total nerd. So why are you staring at your computer so long anyway? Oh, are you one of those programmers? Oh, you're watching a movie? Is this thing like some kind of portable TV? Oh, cool, where do you keep the antenna? Ugh, but seriously, it is way past midnight. What kind of program would be on at this hour anyway? Oh, you can watch whatever you want on it? Oh wait, is this like some kind of home video, like Betamax or something? My friend Jessica had one of those. You could buy your favorite movie and watch it whenever you liked. <laughs> so convenient. So, uh, what, what you got on there, huh? Uh, wait, you have thousands of movies in, in that little thing? Awesome. So like, how tiny are your video cassettes in the 21st century? And, and wait, aren't home videos like $80 a piece or something? Like, what kind of money did you put into this thing? Oh, are you in a video rental club or something? Did you completely clear out your local blockbuster before getting here? Well, like, okay, so what are you watching? Not that I, like, care or anything. Saw 4? Is that some kind of woodworking movie or something? Like, do it yourself or Bob Vila or, oh my god, what? Oh, no, take it away. Oh, take it away. I'm dead and I don't want to see that. <sighs> well, I guess that would explain why you weren't scared of me. This is Saw 4. You mean to tell me somebody made three more of those? Nine? They made nine of them. How many Friday the 13ths are there now? You're kidding. Oh my god. What the heck is wrong with you people? Like, that story ran its course. Can we watch something else? Well, yeah, we. Oh, wait, I don't mean to impose, but, you know, I mean, if you would rather. Oh, you're okay with it? Mm, thank you. What would I want to watch? Um, oh, I know, do you know Star Wars? I mean, maybe it's not a thing anymore, but, oh, those movies were really big in my day. I remember watching them at the theater, and I was like, wow, oh my gosh, this is killer. Ah, oh, I don't mean to sound obsessed, but I, like, really love those movies, all three of them. Wait, they made more? Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Can, can we watch the new Star Wars movies? Please? Oh, I bet they're amazing. What do you mean, don't get your hopes up? Don't you like Star Wars? Oh, you love it. Well, then why don't you want to watch it? They did what? Bu bureaucracy? Force bacteria? What's a Jar Jar? Um, okay. Can we watch one of the original movies then? Sweet. No, no, I'll let you pick. Hmm? Oh, good choice. Ah. Oh, the opening crawl. This brings back memories. Now I'm fine hovering over your shoulder like this. Sit on the couch. Next to you? Oh, okay. But I can't see the screen quite as well like this unless... Oh, I... I should lean on your shoulder? Um... I don't know. Is that really okay? Um... Okay then. Uh, oh my god, I'm so, like, sorry. Did you feel the bone-chilling touch of the grasping hands from beyond the grave? <laughs> sorry. I didn't mean to, but... Uh, what do you mean it tickled? That again? Um, so, like, again, not to impose or whatever, but, uh, is it okay if I, you know, lean on, like, your shoulder again? I can see the screen better, I mean. Really? Aw, thank you. Oh, you know, this is really comfy, actually. Can we do this again tomorrow night? Well, no, during the day I, well, I don't exactly sleep. I just kind of wane and fade out of this world a little or something. But I noticed you stay up pretty late, so we can. Really? Great. Oh, we can watch so many movies together. What's the MCU? Oh, you mean like the comics? 
They made how many movies? Dude, count me in. I love Spider-Man. <laughs> Aw, this is going to be so rad. 